I'm Joe Exotic, and don't forget, I am now stepping my foot in the ring to run for president. Not that, probably. I could, like, get some crazy primes and stuff. Mm, that seems buff worthy, maybe. Hey, buddy, watch this. Is it bug some people, I think? Hey, okay, good hand here. Mm, less good hand. <laughs> it was a good hand. Started out good. We are maybe going to try to get that Murloc Demon Hunter finally in a good spot. So maybe we'll save that for later. Um, yeah. you like my Let's go. Big swing turn against Mage. I only have an hour though. Maybe we got to do the Demon Hunter thing. Good discount here. Thank God. What did I get the legend with? Tempo Demon Hunter. It's one of the easiest legend climbs I've ever had. Power for the taking. Very fast. Very smooth. Hey, give me that. Uh, Ooh, nice. Mind if I My lady. diligence to good play is rewarded. Librams are cheap. I wonder if we'll get more Librams. What do you guys think? Do you think they'll print more Librams? In future sets? I sure don't know. I hope so, though. Not gonna play the secret. Thinks he has a better one. Maybe it's a flame ward and he doesn't think a 2 one's worth it. Hmm. No secret. What do you know? Double Aldor now is nice. Well, yeah, let's do this. It keeps getting polymorphed away, though, and sapped away. I'm hesitant to use it. Don't polymorph it. I swear to God. Fireball's totally fine. Okay. That's great news. Oh, he does get a 6-6, six, six, though. That's less good news. Libram of Justice a 6-6, six, six, but nah, it doesn't feel very good. Uh, Wild Pyromancer, Hand of a Doll, Libram of Wisdom. Does clear that, though. I think it does, anyway. Not crazy, right? <laughs> Pretty sure it does. <laughs> Okay. Feels a little bad to use one wild pyromancer when you have double Librium of Justice in hand, but we do have the consecration, so. And to use some burst damage on my minions is a good sign too. It's really nice. No Apexis Blast yet. Finally ripping that secret though. Oh, that was not the one he got for free though. Hmm. Very interesting. The battle. Ice barrier. Yep. Okay. I didn't want to buff the 1-1 one, one here in case that was a flame ward, right? It wouldn't have made much difference. He seemed really threatened by this previously so much that he fireballed it, so let's just commit into it again. If he does, like, soften it up, we can Libra move Hope it really efficiently next turn. Is he going to fireball it again? Frost bolts Into fireball. Into a Pexus Blast. Into Font of Power, just opening a pan space. We just have a second time into for, like, 10... Some things. Any tips for how to get to Legend? Just keep playing, I'd say. You'll get there, man. Just make sure you know your matchups and know your mulligans. But it'll, you'll hit a streak. You'll hit some variants. Is it better for climbing to stick with one deck or try to counter? I think it's better to stick with a deck you really know, as long as the deck's good. I mean, if you're running into a meta where you're getting countered constantly, then you may have to pivot. But generally, I think you're better off sticking with a deck you know and like and know how to play well. Man, we've gotten our Librams down the full discount. This is, cr I've never had them this discounted. This is wild. I'm really worried about counter spell, man. Cause I want to be playing this Librum of Hope, but uh, I, I can't, I can't risk it. There's no way. I'm going to wait. I have for Once we get the Blessing of Wisdom back, we can try, right? That'll be fine. Librum of Wisdom, excuse me, but I'm not going to rip that Librum of Hope into a counter spell unknowingly. Yeah, Solarian Prime does break their Apexus Blast. That's a good point. If, if it dies and shuffles itself in. We're seeing the stalls come out, I'd say, a little early here. We haven't really built our big, impressive, you know, like, we're going to win the game board. And he's already using a lot of freeze. Like, Kona Cold is already down. Double Frostbolt's down. 
we may still see blizzards, of course, but we're working through it, right? We're working through it. Not if he top takes Solarian. True. He's just planning on being good at the game, I think. <laughs> That's an easy solution as well. Okay, there's a Librum to test the uh, test the counter spell here. Not a counter spell. Okay. Also, not a spell winner. Not that it matters on this case, but. Just saving these for emergencies, man. It's weird how few cards we have. We've actually drawn most of our card draw cards, too. I mean, Salad Sprite, I guess, we didn't hit, which helps you move to your card draw stuff. But the good news is, like, every card we draw now is pretty good. I guess maybe Salad Sprite and Overconfident Orc are still kind of bad, but, like, Double Exotic Mount Cellar, Kael'thas, Liadrin, another Librum. We have some good draws. There's the Blizzards, yeah. Okay. Like I said, we're working through all of this. Eventually, I'm hoping we can stick something, right? Kael'thas, okay. I am going to wait to try to use him with the big Liadrin turn, though, because as it stands right now, we still have a lot of pressure on board. I don't really need to commit anything else extra right now. Saving for an emergency flashback to every RPG, saving every potion just in case. Yeah, that's that's my RPG life, too. Finish the game with 8 million potions in hand. <laughs> every potion you've collected throughout the entire game still in your inventory. 100% my life. Only a couple spells off the mana cycle, and it's pretty low value. You can trade into the 8-5 here. Might be worried about a Solarian, though. He's seemingly keeping it alive a while. I mean, he's been utilizing the spell damage, so he probably doesn't mind. Ooh, that's... That's a lot of value, though, to chain off. Man, that sucks. He turned those two spells now into basically four, four cards. Smartly played it before trading. That's, that's good. That's good. Now, this probably is a Flame Ward, right? There's our Liadrin. Is it enough right now, though? I don't think it's right. I think we gotta start playing from behind now. Oh, if you're sure. Welcome, boys. Sure. Make some room by the heart, mocha. I think we gotta start playing from behind. Because we need to use this value. Does it seem to be easier to get legend with a new system? It's easier for me for sure, because the push from Diamond Five to Legend is much shorter than the push from Rank 5 to Legend was. Of all the things to target. This might be the turn. I mean, is this the biggest board he's going to have for a while, right? Probably. I can dump the Salad Sprite to draw two more cards and really thin out my deck. Okay. I'd actually save this for a... Um, Consecration later, right? Could be some value there. All right. Crazy, prohibitively expensive, just like, ugh. Too much headache to, to buy. Deep freeze again for seven. Okay. We are drawing a card off the Thalno, so at least that does accelerate the... Um... I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. Putting it to one matters. Because of all these one attack dudes on board. And I'm gonna get frozen anyway if he goes face, so that doesn't matter so much. Hmm, Vargoth would be kind of cool in this list, actually. I didn't make this list. This is from uh, Cutteron. But Vargoth makes some sense. So we need those Mount Sellers. We need Libram of Hopes or something here. Thank you, Krishka. Own of Cold, yikes. Consecration, maybe, man. Consecration, maybe, man. Lay on hands. Ugh. All right. We just got to hope and pretend this survives. It probably won't, but... What's the win condition here? Basically building a giant board out of exotic Mount Cellars or Kael'thas, Libram of Hope stuff. Thanks to your Lady Liadrin giving you a lot of spells in hand. We're sometimes just cheating out that stuff too earlier in the game than your opponent might be able to react to. Woo, we really need that consecration. Oh my God. <laughs> like really bad. Oh boy. Rolling Fireball just murders that. I really need the consecration so bad. Oh my God, please. It's a one out of four, please. I might have to lay on hands to set it up for the next turn if I don't play it right now. 
Oh my god, because I gotta stay alive. Oh my god, that could be a counter spell. Oh, I can use Libram though for the counter spell. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. <gasps> oh my god! I give him a I give him a, a Libram, but I don't think I care about that, right? It doesn't really matter to me. I just gotta test the counter spell. Okay. Woo! Did I ever dump the Kael'thas here? Now that I think about it, this would be free. That would set me up to play the Kael'thas for a future turn. Could also just lay on hands. Let me think. Energy, power. My people are addicted to it. So I can play Libram of Hope. How much Libram of Hope is three mana? And I can play Libram of Wisdom. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I healed to full, I summoned two giant minions, I cleared his board. I mean, I'm, I'm in fatigue, which sucks, but like I said, we're gonna create a big board and he's gonna have to either answer it or die. <laughs> it's up to him. And if this Kael'thas lives, I can make a lot more big uh, Ancient Guardians this turn. Well, it's just, assuming I get them off the Liadrin, it's actually not guaranteed, but maybe. I can try at least. Ew. I'm really scared to go face in case that's a random vaporize. It's almost certainly flame board though, or barrier. So we have to go the Audrey, we don't have a choice. I mean, this is the only line. We get eight cards in hand. We got two Librams, okay. Sweet. Do I ever risk the Vaporize? I don't think so, right? I don't think I do. I think I just clear a dude, right? Maybe I should have cleared the bigger dude now that I think about it. Almost certainly should have, but I didn't. So, we'll worry about that later. Um... Vaporize only goes off when, I mean, excuse me, Flame Ward only goes off when a minion attacks, right? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure it's Flame Ward, but just to be safe. Okay. If we get puffed, yeah, it's game over. You're in my just for the record. <laughs> we don't have a choice, though. <laughs> don't jinx us with a puff, by the way. Get out of town. Puff is GG, so don't put the puff on us, man. It's it's clear, like we literally don't have a choice. Like, yes, if he puffs, we lose, but just don't whisper that evil in the world, okay? <laughs> puzzle box, yeah, puzzle box can steal it. If he puzzle boxes, though, there's a good chance we actually hit um, a lot of spells back, right? We get all the things back for the mount sellers, so we can actually reload for another not as impressive board as this, but certainly still an impressive board. I don't know how two mana here saves you. Feel like he's dead. Could maybe get some Ray of Frost to freeze one of these, but he's not gonna freeze everything. It doesn't freeze. They all have Divine Shield, so. That's just game. There's no way. Wow, dude. So we can test the Vaporize, like we said. It's clearly not. It's Flame Ward, as we knew, really. Wow. How many people were telling me to concede this game? How many people were telling me to concede this game? <laughs> uh, I want to scroll up and be like, who said he concede? Thank God he didn't have the puff. That's all I got to say. Unless his, unless his deck was just really wild. Okay. Uh, pretty good hand. Oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Congrats to Nicky Dick, Power Kirby, C4G, Mad Goat, Splendid Daddy, and Terex. Nothing to do. Boys, make some room by the house. Brad's basically, dude. Welcome, VIP in the house. Boys. Good to see you, Brad. Hope it's going Welcome. well, dude. Boys, make some room by the hearth, won't ya? Okay, Loot Hoarder feels just dandy. <laughs> Welcome. 
Welcome. It's like the new vengeance. Man, I could change it to that. <laughs> it's been welcome for a long time. Maybe we could change the sub message to vengeance. Vengeance. I have to think about that. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think, Pyro? What do you think, Brad? You guys give subs a lot. What do you guys want it to be? Is it cold in here? Is it cold in here? Chinvala for rogue is kind of spooky almost. But I think we can just hand him a dollar and we're happy. Ooh, Kael'thas finally in hand. Nice. Mm, actually, I prefer drawing, don't I? If you change it to vengeance, I'm going to go broke buying gifted subs. <laughs> oh, so I'm incentivized. Ah. Is cereal soup? No, I think soup demands being warm, and cereal is typically cold because of the milk. Also, I believe soup generally the um the broth the liquid is is constituted of like multiple elements as opposed to well it's sometimes just water but it, it develops a brothiness that i don't think uh cereal really provides I'm going to throw the uh what did this grab a comma that's a really cool deck idea, by the way. I'm really jealous we haven't done that yet, to be honest. <laughs> I'm really jealous. Okay. No need to kill this worm, I don't think. my so. love, we can't travel this year all in the name of vengeance. <laughs> rip my wallet. Oh, man. Vengeance. Oh, we lose our um, Libram for now. That's kind of sad. Kael'thas has coin, but no... Ooh, we got a Scrapyard Colossus, Colossus that time. That's much, much worse. For us, at least. Great for him. Oh, boy. Um, I think we're taking a bit of a pass turn here. Next turn, we can go off on the Kael'thas. So I think we'll do that. Since this doesn't contribute any tempo, we'll just go ahead and kill it. This is a pretty good sap for him, though, to be honest. This deck is spicy. Yeah, this deck's really, really cool so far. I like this deck a lot. It's not mine, it's from uh, Caron, who's, again, I don't know if I'm ever saying that name right, but probably not, to be honest. Caron. I think we just go Kael'thas here, right? Seems like it's a no-brainer to me. Do we play the Librum or the Librum, though? Is the one question I do have. I don't know which we play, the Librum or the Librum. <laughs> I think Librum of Hope is probably too good to pass up, right? I mean, Librum of uh, Justice, excuse me. Because I have this big Tintin that I can kill. Yeah, I think we have to do this one. Okay. Cool. I mean, Libra of Hope's good too, right? But didn't really have a great target to heal anyway. My face hadn't taken a ton of damage. And clearing those minions is pretty valuable, Boys. right? Uh, thanks, Sergeant on Ball. Uh, I don't know if I have any personal top decks to climb, but we can check out the... HS replay data for today to give you an idea of what the data says are the best decks. Um, as of the recording of this video, <laughs> over the last one day from Diamond to Legend, it's uh, Tempo Demon Hunter, Galakron Warlock, Highlander Hunter, Murloc well, Paladin, and boys, Spell Druid. Thanks. I guess double consecration attack, but that just sets up the bamboozle, right? It's so nasty. We could just go Thalnos Consecration. There's just no good plays here, man. I guess we gotta just go ahead and try the bamboozle. I don't know. It's no bamboozle. Okay. I don't want to play a minion then, because I don't want to give him the ambush. 30 tricks is fine. Okay, so we have a big old nasty board now. 14, 15 damage, 16 plus um, this is another 4 is 20 damage of output here. We can't Thanos and double Consecration, unfortunately, to set up any kind of lethal just yet. Lady Leandrin has um, two Hand of Adals, a Librum of Wisdom, and a Librum of Hope so far. Should I craft Highlander Rogue or Galakron Warlock? If you're looking specifically just for... Highest win rate right now, Galakron Warlock is your best bet at the moment. Could still change, but probably not. I think it's a pretty internally consistent deck. I don't think it's reacting to the meta much. It's kind of doing just everything, so... Less susceptible to fluctuations in the meta than most decks or mini decks. Okay, just a backstab seal fate. Does he have enough damage to chunk through this? 
So that could indeed restrict our um our ability to kill him. Seems like he's not doing much here. Awkwardly sober with a Twitch Prime sub, also kicking off the hype train. Thank you, awkwardly sober. A lot of shenanigans here, but just not winning, unfortunately, I have to say. Uh, so again, let's check our math, right? 14, 15, 16, 20. 14, 15, 16, 20, and we cannot quite Thalnos into Consecration. Um, double Consecration still probably the play though, right? You know, actually a single Consecration with Thalnos is not too bad. That's six. Let's see what we draw here. You like my Exotic Mount Cellar's pretty cool, but not good enough at the moment. Okay. We have to decide if we want to kill the Wax of Dread or not. Am I willing to take another seven? Yes, I am 100% willing to. Okay. Cool. Looking good, looking good. I, I don't think this is a deck that has a lot of burst damage, number one. Uh, we still have a taunt. We're still at 16. If I went down to like five, sure, I wouldn't do it, but. Okay. Uh, Nicky Nick, thanks for the 100 bits. Man, the hype train active going crazy. Uh, I mean, this just looks like a lethal, right? No, these have taunt on the second half as well, don't they? Is it a lethal? Um, oh, it's just lethal on board with Kael'thas and weapon attack, right? Yeah. Because of the spell damage. This is a little bit more elegant, right? <laughs> a little bit less space damage that way. Cool, good win, man. Great stuff. Yes, I did. I could have also just not attacked with a minion. Somebody's going to correct that on YouTube, and I'm going to be like, it's lethal. What does it matter? You can't misplay when you get lethal. <laughs> There's no optimizations of lethal. Very, very cool deck. Okay, I think card draw is good. Taunt is good. It has a lot of options here to play into neat things. Greetings, traveler. Greetings, Feuna. Feuna. Mythbusters? No, not that guy. Um, no. Adam ruins everything. That's it. <laughs> Came to me. People say I look like that guy sometimes. He doesn't have as much of a beard, but like you know, just features hair, glasses, that sort of thing. It was lethal, but it could have been lethaler. Yep, that's YouTube right there. You've been on YouTube, I see. I see you're a true YouTube connoisseur. All right. Do we trade here or not? Um. We just shadow. Yeah, we better actually. You might be able to kill that off and ping it or something. Uh, Regis sh Shadow <laughs> ruins everything, man. Welcome, I, um, I do ruin everything. I could start. Maybe that would be a good, uh, YouTube show, actually. I Regis see ruins everything. Mantis that looks a lot like you. <laughs> that photo is so spooky, dude. I don't have it handy to show anybody, but man. Uh, HH54, by the way. Thanks for the gifted sub to Vesley and Pyro and Seth Goodtime. Thanks for the bits. I don't know if we're going to finish this hype train, so don't worry too much about pushing through it, guys. Just feel free to hang tight for once. No big deal. If you're sure. Uh, I don't know about this secret. Sure. Let's just, I'm really worried about pack tactics, right? So I don't think we attack that minion. Okay, Freezing Trap is... Again, pretty annoying. We keep losing our Librams to um, sap effects. It wasn't really avoidable there as, as such, but it's just annoying, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get sick of that. Big fan of your channel. Thanks, fun guy, dude. Bum -ba -da. Good plot twist warlock with Dark Portal in the prime work. Uh, it worked okay for us. We built a deck around that. It's pretty cool. Ooh, nice. Good stuff. Uh, Jaw with a thousand bits. Oh my god, still not enough for the hype train though, sadly. Shoot. Good try. I appreciate the try, Jaw. You tried to save it, but not quite. Uh, but thank you for the kindness. This is a great turn six on curve play here. This will draw us into some more cycle, which is great. That's what we need. You know, we've started to stabilize. Okay, land hands could be just fine at some point. I have to imagine another pack tactics is Welcome, incoming. Make 
some room by the hearth, won't ya? How much do I even care about this dude's regions. secrets? I'd say not that much. Oh my god, really? It's explosive trap. Shoot! That makes it hard to kill this now. Oh my god, he memed on me the explosive trap, dude. I'm actually mad. I keep dodging pack tactics and it's never pack tactics. <laughs> it's, and now it's going to be pack tactics the one time. Man, shoot. Um, Chillax packs. Uh, thank you, man, for hanging out. Yeah. And Pepperfruit con continuing the gift and sub. Thank you, Pe Pepperfruit. And James, I thank you for the thousand bits. That's so nice. And Pyro thanks the hundred bits. Really, really cool, guys. Ooh, we got some uh, Stone Dust Boar stuff, I think, happening here. Romkahan Wild Tamer copies. It's going to be spooked. Got to be careful with that. We do have a lot of taunts. Um, so hopefully we can get into, in a position where we have enough taunts to kind of ignore that. This might finally be a good thing to proc a secret. Boy, Ooh, Kale Oh my god! Pyro with 10 well, gifted subs! Good boy, lord! So many heart, gifted boy. subs today! We're actually getting close to well, 1,100 boy, subs! My oh heart, my boy. god, Pyro, grabs of York and Peppers well, and more and Blackgrass boy, and Pier and Pika and Love heart, and the cash register <laughs> well, <laughs> and Roarman boy, and Desney. Goodness gracious, heart, thank you, Pyro. Dodged again. Yeah, what is that? Well, Let's just see what this does. Pack tactics now would be okay. It would be fine. Must be another explosive trap. He's softening us up, boys. Welcome, boys. Make some room by the Boys, do we ever play? No, we can't play boss. Yeah. Make some room by the heart. It's not time. He's buttering us up for uh. Make some room by the heart. Some stone tusk boys, boys. Buttering us up. I need to heal before I commit to an attack again. I don't really need to attack him until the game is over. Um, wow, Pyro. So many subs, dude. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Story behind the name Regis Gilman? Not really any good story, sad to say. Just old World of Warcraft memes. Ooh. Good God. Now I'm thinking maybe there's not as much boar stuff. Man, this guy. I don't have the Kael'thas yet. I need my Librams. Lay on hands. Um, I almost always burn a card, right? I need to hit Librum of Wisdom, but then I wouldn't have anything to target. Ugh. Man. This is a real pickle situation here. We've got into a real pickle. Welcome. <sighs> I, I guess I'm doing it anyway. I mean, uh, what does it matter if I burn a card, right? It doesn't matter. Got to make plays, so. I did not hit Libram of Hope, and I'm going to draw one and burn it. I know what will happen immediately. Kingzot with a gifted sub. Oh, my God. Thank you, Kingzot, dude. That's amazing. So many porcupines. Is this? My list didn't have Romkin and Wild Tamers. This is definitely not my list. I know I'm going to burn Libra of Hope. Oh, it was not a Libra of Hope. Oh my god. Um, I, there's not enough Kael'thas shenanigans in the world, right? No, because... Consecration doesn't really do enough, right? Mm. Oh my god, why don't we have anything good to do? It seems like we should have some pretty good plays, but we don't. I don't think we have any good plays. Pyro, Pyro, Hand of a Doll. Mm. Oh, that's not good. How is there no good play, dude? This is crazy. I, we have no good plays. Just summoning more stuff here. Every time I would have waited on the Terran on the Leopard. Keep up with the fun decks and I hope you. Oh my God! It's just too much mana still. 
It's just too much mana still. I cannot wait to read these. I'm just dead most of the time here, right? But not technically dead. He has 11. He has 11 and I'm at 13. So there might be a world where I can leave Room of Hope my way out of this. Unfortunately, this being at 1 means with Kael'thas, I can't hand over Doll the Taunt. You got a Libra of Justice for two mana. Yeah, but I didn't want to take all the damage from the porcupines on top of them. Well, maybe I could have, honestly. Let me I don't know. Think. I wanted to try to save it, but uh, I got to do this now. I don't even want to think about it. Um, this is just going to... I'm just throwing this away so I don't deal extra damage to my Kalthos, right? Or just proc or whatever. That's fine. Oh, actually, no, I needed that to be alive now that I say that. I don't know why I don't think I want that to be alive, because I do. I think I did want that to be alive to clear this, maybe. Although, I don't know, it reduces the total damage out, but this actually works out just fine. This deck, like all decks, needs a yog. Ha ha. Do I really want to kill this, though, is the question. I don't know. I think this worked out okay. I'm not going to complain, because I think we're in a decent spot. All things considered. Oh, he cleared the taunt. That's so much extra damage. Oh, that's probably game now. I need to top deck Libra of Hope again. I don't know if I can. Lady Leandrin gives me a Libra of Hope, but I can't afford it. Well, I can actually with Kel'Thas. What am I kidding? Of course I can. Of course I can afford it. This gives me a ton of spells that I can play. I got this. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. I should have played this first. Why didn't I? I'm an idiot again. <laughs> That's the only explanation. Idiocy. Well, it's probably better to be safe because our hand was going to be full anyway. So it may not actually matter too much. Is lay on hands better? No, not better because I don't get a taunt and I don't get fatigue. Okay. This doesn't draw anything, so it just does extra damage, which is great. We kill the minion here. And we set up our counter lethal. Yeah, okay. My god, I, I don't think I've played this particularly expertly at all, but we actually have a lethal setup. And, uh... Oh my god, I think that steals lethal, actually. I only have 12... Uh... I think I only have 23 now. Oh, no, hand of it all is lethal. Oh, thank God. Okay. And I had to hand it all this anyway for lethal. Oh, my God. What a crazy game, dude. Wow. Woo! This deck is nuts. I, we're clearly not masters of it yet. We're clearly not masters of it yet. There's, I think we could have optimized about 10 things that game, but we didn't. But we still managed to find a win. Crazy.